Welcome back to Ugly Truck. Today we're gonna get this 1976 Chevrolet K20 running for the first time in 23 years. So stick around. Okay, so our friend Steve, he calls us up a couple weeks ago. He says, hey, there's an auction going on down the street a couple miles from me, okay? So you better get down there. There's a bunch of tools, a few cars out back. And five or six hours later, we're driving this thing, or not driving it, we're towing it back. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't that fun. No. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it hasn't been on the road since 1997, according to Missouri, okay? Yeah. So 20 some years of not, not running. Uh, today we are going to get it running, hopefully. Yep. I always say hopefully, because we never uh, know, yeah. right? And then we're gonna drive it around our field a couple times until we're happy. And then we're gonna park it out back. Uh -huh. And then we have a couple of LS swaps to get to work on. Yeah. So who knows when we'll see this one again, <laughs> but uh, we are going to get this thing going today, okay? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, we've got another one to bring back to life. We're gonna do our usual um, earth, wind, and fire. Yeah. Or uh -huh. spark, fuel, and air. What should we, what should we do? Well, uh -huh. Let's do earth, wind, and fire on this one. Okay. Okay. All right. Where do we put the dirt in? Uh, you pick a spot, okay? Oh, I think it's already here. Yeah, it's on the exterior <laughs> of the truck, okay? Uh, this truck, uh, it has a propane tank in the back, so it used to run off propane. Yep. Uh, everything to make it run off propane is gone now, except for the um, tank back there. And then this was the line that came up and uh, fed the uh, little mixer thing for uh, propane, uh, for it to run off of propane. And this was the wiring that went to it, okay? So it doesn't do anything anymore, so we'll just leave that there. Okay. Sure. It's uh, decoration. Yeah, we'll cut it out of there later once we get this thing running because we're definitely not going to run it on propane anymore. No. That used to be a very economical way of driving a truck. Yeah. Uh, but not so much anymore, and it's not very convenient. But yeah. It would they would run off gas and propane, so mm -hmm. you you had the option for both. So like if you ran out of propane, you could switch it over for gas and. Huh. Um, it was, it was really pretty cool. Yeah. Where I'm from back in the day, the, there were a lot of people that did that. Really? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, 350, uh, four bolt main. Four bolt main. Four bolt main. Four bolt main. Uh, I'm assuming it has a four bolt main. But, <laughs> uh, everything's here. It looks great. Uh, now the wiring's got been gotten to by uh, critters or anything. I did notice this. This is something I've never seen before. Well, first off, I've never seen a belt rust that much into a pulley, but look at what's at the end of this cap. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, Whoa. I'm pretty confident that um, this thing hasn't been messed with in 20 years. Yeah. So, it does turn over though. Yes. Okay. It did turn over. We didn't have to do our usual trick of uh, getting it to uh, turn over. And I have turned it over a full 360 degrees two times. Sweet. Okay. So. So that's nice. So we have uh, <laughs> earth, what, no, yeah, we have wind taken care of. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's put new oil in it because something tells me the engine oil is just as old and junky as that yeah and uh, it's a 350 chevy we know we'll get it running oh yeah and we may as well start it up with some fresh oil yep okay cool. so let's do that first all right Ripley. All right, let's see. 
much needed oil change, I bet. Yeah. This might be interesting. I hope not. Hope for no water. No water. Oil only. Yep. Hey. We've seen worse than that. A red filter. Is that a bald one, you think? That's what I was wondering. I was going to wipe it off and look. The farmers around here, they love bald one filters. Yeah. So we don't know a whole lot about this motor, so we just bought a cheap uh, oil filter for it. A MicroGuard from O'Reilly's. Yep. So it might be cheap, but they're still pretty decent filters. Yeah. Uh, when when we run this thing, um, oh, they also have MicroGuard Select now that are for um, full synthetic cars. Yeah. And they're a lot better. Uh, I always try to remember to put the drain plug back in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that way when you put oil in it, it stays in the oil pan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go through a lot of floor dry, you know, if you don't. Right. So, so. While we have it up in the air, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my remote starter to okay. the starter. Okay. Because it's a lot easier to get a hold of here. Oh, one end of it is going to go to the cylinder. Okay. So. Okay. So. What color wire do you think goes to that one? Mmm, purple. That's right. All right, so that should be everything that we got to do for um, below, hopefully, okay? Okay. Uh, we'll bring her down, put some oil in it, put some zinc in it. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right. Let's get the air breather off here so we can get to the oil filler cap, okay? Okey dokey. See what's underneath here. Two barrel. It's just a little feller. This might be the carburetor that gets us. It looks a little crusty. Yeah. Okay. All right. So should we add oil to it? Sure. Yep. Oh. <laughs> All right. Like we always do, Rotella. 1540 T4 conventional oil. It's what we put in every older engine we do. Yep, everybody's favorite. It's great oil for these, and on top of that, it's not very expensive. Yeah, yep. You know? Ooh, STP. STP. Some extra zinc. Yep. Some boogers. Boogers. Okay, so after this, what, what do we do? Throw a battery in it? Um, what do we want to do as far as the fuel system to start here? Do we want to just bottle feed it, feed it and see if we can... Yeah, we'll, let's di we'll disconnect it from the carburetor up here. Okay. And just for fun, like we always do, we'll hook a hose to it and see if it does pump anything out of the tank. Yeah. I don't think it's going to. Yeah. And I don't, we're not even going to mess around with the tank on this thing. Yeah. If it, if it runs okay, we'll run it off of a gas bottle for a while, but then we'll just order up a fuel tank for it. Because if the power steering looks like that, <laughs> I can imagine what it looks like inside the gas tank. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> that's the game plan for that. Uh, it'd be nice to see if it cranks over with the starter, so let's put the battery on it. Okay. 
and oh, let's disconnect the fuel first. Okay. Okay. Here, I'm gonna spray this carburetor down a little bit. Okay. okay. So. stuff will evaporate while we're messing around with it. Cool. There it goes. Thought I was going to have to get a vice grip out. I know. I was worried for a minute there. Choke? Was that part of the choke? No. <laughs> I hope not. I wonder what that was. Mm, hope that it's not familiar. important. Okay. The, the choke rod is gone. Mm. So that portion of it is rotted away. Tub of towels. Yeah. Oh, more than that. Still not a sponsor. Still not a sponsor. Still love their tubs. Alright. Look good? Yep. Alright, we got oil in it. We got uh, our remote starter hooked up. Uh, let's hook up a battery to it. Okay. See if it turns off. What, my battery holder? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You're getting fancy on us. All right. So, we even have cables that we don't have to mess around with. Yeah. The cables are actually pretty easy. Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> but it makes you feel better. Okay, that did nothing. Cool. Two ain't bad. <laughs> All right, so we've got battery power. Okay. Um, let's see if we got a starter. All right, so the other end of the remote starter to the positive side of the battery. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Oh, just had a bad connection. Whoops. Whoops. Thanks. Oh, a bugger. Mm -hmm. Makes a really bad noise. Really? Yep. What kind of bad noise? Like 
like something flopping around in there? Uh, it just does not sound happy. It mm. might be the clutch. So. <clears throat> Hopefully it's that. Okay. okay. If we got another truck that I gotta take the head or the oil pan off of. <laughs> we don't have a key for this truck. Yeah. So we can't use the ignition. So I'm going to uh, just run a jumper wire to the HEI to give it power. Okay. All right. So here. This thing's got a mechanical oil pressure gauge too, so we'll be able to see if it gets oil pressure right away. Cool. Um. <clears throat> That's handy. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. All right, so I got my jumper wire. It'll okay. go to the positive side of the battery to fire up the ignition. Okay. okay. That's how I'm going to find out if it has spark. I just kind of, we commit to it. And then if we don't have, if it doesn't fire up, then we know it doesn't have spark. Yep. Okay. Yep. So here we go. I'm going to give her a little gas down the carburetor. Okay. I'm gonna fill up the vent and the carburetor. Okay. Maybe that'll make it go. I guess we got spark. Yep, we have spark. We have earth, wind, and fire. And <clears throat> I think it might run off that carburetor, so. Huh. So let's hook a line up to the carburetor and we'll run it into a gas can. <clears throat> the little clamps that hold the fuel line on just broke off. <laughs> oh yeah. Look about like those. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to add a fuel. I put a fuel filter right in front of that line. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. 
So, if that fuel pump will prime anything, it will, we'll get some fresh gas coming out of there, okay? Okay. So, the minute we see that, yell at me and we'll shut it down. Okay. Come on. hold my finger over it a little bit and I couldn't decide if I was feeling it or not. Yeah, let's, go. let's go have some. Okay. Let's hold it up for a little bit there. Okay. Ready? Wedding. Oh, oh. oh. Start to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right when I gave up. Oh. Come on. Oh, it probably lost its connection down to the starter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's find the starter wire. Hey, there it is. Hey, there it is. Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, that should be enough wire to get some connection on, right? Sure. What do you think? All right, so this is a purple wire that goes down to the starter solenoid. I'm just gonna connect onto it here because it doesn't have a good connection down with the starter, apparently. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot easier to get to up here. Yeah. Okay. Now it works. Yay. All right. Cool. So we were getting fuel, right? Yeah. All right. So let's, let's get to where we see good fresh fuel coming out. Okay. Cool. Oh. oh, this is where we'll put water in it and the freeze plugs will be rubbed out. Oh. Surely not. Oh, good. Is there anything in there? Oh, not that I can see. Well, I don't know. It looks kind of wet. Let's put some Mercedes <laughs> antifreeze in it. That'll uh, Ooh. help it. Pretty. This truck does not have a fan clutch on it either, I noticed. They took that off. All right. So. And it has some type of a bra, so. Um, 
Ooh. Guess I don't. I can't figure out why they. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 Kids. <laughs> Let's see what's under here. It's like a totally different truck. <laughs> Hang on to that though. I might use that later. Okay, some more uh, foreign car antifreeze. We get comments and people ask what we use for antifreeze and stuff. Whatever is like, available. Wh yeah, whichever jug is the closest. <laughs> Whatever color matches the vehicle. Oh, oh and here's two new deck schools right there. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, we should have used the deck school because then that would have matched. Oh, yeah, true. You know, that's why there's different colors, you know? Right. All right, so we got the fuel line hooked up. We did. We got our fuel primed, so we know we're gonna get fuel up to it. Yep. Uh, we got coolant added to it. Yes. And it's not all draining out the bottom. <clears throat> Which is nice. Yeah. Of course, it's got oil in it. And if it runs on its own on the carburetor, we'll let it come up to operate in temperature. Cool. I don't like the goose in it yeah right away or anything I, it's been 20 years so i kind of let it ease into it yeah let uh, the lifters pump up and yep everything remember how to be a truck yep. again right we'll see how we'll see how quiet it gets and you do have to bring the rpms up a little bit though it helps it pump up those yeah. hydraulic lifters but if not sometimes <laughs> they just come right out of it themselves so cool so here we go here we go okay.
What's that? This video should just be an ad for whatever brand that belt is. It is hanging in there. <laughs> yeah. I bet it's a Gates. Ooh, what do you so think? Too. Yeah. Huh? Let's, let's just put it out of its misery. Think so. Okay. Had fun sometimes. Yeah. It's not very big. Oh. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Cool. I'll make a bracelet out of that or something. So at this point, you know it runs okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. Cool. I took the cap off the brake fluid yesterday. Oh yeah. Somebody probably put something other than brake fluid in here. Oh no. Okay. So when the rubber seal on your master cylinder does that, it somebody's put some kind of petroleum product in there like oil or something. Oh. So so we can we'll suck it out with a like a little turkey baster tool. Okay. I'll brake clean it, add brake fluid to it, and maybe we'll have a little bit of brake so we could drive it. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like just brake fluid anymore. So, somebody, somebody screwed that up. Um, so when that happens, every piece in the brake system that has rubber in it yeah. uh, is gonna have to be replaced. So, proportion valve, the brake oh. lens, not, not the brake lens. Not the hose? No. Oh, rubber hoses, yeah. Yeah, the rubber. Yeah, rubber. Okay. Okay. That's why I use the non-flammable stuff. Yes. So I can spray it like that and not worry about it. Yeah. What's taking? We'll uh, fire it up. We'll raise it up in the air off the ground. Okay. And uh, maybe that alone might be enough to get the clutch to disengage. Think so. Maybe. We'll see. sucks when people do that. Yeah. So, don't ever add anything other than brake fluid to your brakes. Yes. Okay? Do yourself and the next guy a big favor. Oh, and it also makes your brakes lock up. Because as it gets hot, if you add oil to it, as it gets hot, it starts to expand and then... Mmm. It applies your brakes, so... That's not good. Yeah. All right, so let's raise it off the ground so the wheels aren't touching. We'll put it in first gear. Okay. And then fire it up. Okay. Okay, then first gear. And we will start it up. Okay. Ready? Makes me nervous. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be.
has brakes. Okay. What does the clutch feel like now? Same? Uh, not good. Okay. Not good. We're probably gonna have to pull yeah. it outside and then right. We'll pull it and see if we can't get the clutch to free up. Okay. All right. So, what if I just take this thing and make this thing the truck's fueled? It's pretty sweet. All right, we've got our makeshift uh, gas can right here. It's uh, strapped down to the propane tank, and then uh, Emily duct taped the line down into the bottom of the can. So that'll be our temporary gas can. Sweet. Uh, we'll we probably need to wash the windows just a little bit, front windshield. Yeah. A little iffy. And then uh, we'll pull it out of here with the diesel and see if we can't get the clutch to disengage. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> we'll leave it back. Yes. That's uh, that's part of the truck now. All right. So let's drag this baby around the yard with the diesel.
Okay, so uh, as far as will it runs, uh, that's kind of how you want it to go. That one was pretty, um, pretty easy, I yeah, guess. Yeah, pretty uneventful. Yep. Um, much better than Big Red or Oscar's truck if you caught those videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the easiest one we've done in a long time. Yes. So yes. 20 years, uh, what do we do? We put a battery in it. Uh, change the oil. Change the oil and made sure we got fresh gas going to it. Yeah. And that thing runs. Uh, the clutch, it, the clutch, the, fr the friction disc on the clutch was just probably rusted solid to the flywheel. Uh, we took and we pulled it uh, outside with the diesel, maybe 20, 30 feet, and it broke free and everything yeah. was fine with that. So yep. that does happen with the standard clutches, okay? Yep. We uh, have to park that thing out back in the yard. Yep. And we are going to get into doing some LS swaps, okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, if you watch any of our other videos, you might notice that we've done some of those in the past. Yep. The next ones that are coming up, we are going mm -hmm. to try to give you uh, just an overload of inf information. Yep. Okay. Every, every little detail. So yep. if there's something that you guys would like to see, if there's something that would help you out in your project, let us know. Let yep, but we kind of need to know ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, so, <laughs> so, so we can, we can plan. Plan it all out, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, that truck that we just finished up, it yeah. always irritates me. Nobody ever says what they spent on it when they bought it. Yeah. I paid twenty six hundred dollars for that truck. Yep. And we spent a hundred dollars less than a hundred dollars getting it running. Yeah. So, so there you go. Go out there and buy one and, <laughs> and get it running. Okay. Yeah, and uh, that's a very nice truck, you know. And that's not that's, that's not a it's, bad price for. It's not a piece of junk, and you can no. find them out there. So, yeah. So go do it. We hope that we inspire people to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So. On top of that, we uh, really appreciate you watching our stuff. Yep. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, we're trying to get to a million by the end of the month. Yeah, it's so, going to happen. Yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But we appreciate you watching, and we will catch you next time.